by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. Good morning everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And you can tell it's like here it is 8 a.m. Hump day Wednesday morning. There is an emergency going on in the uh, the new 63 shopping mall here. Now, I'm sure it's a false alarm, fire alarm, but uh, you know, usually they'll say they're investigating or whatever. This is saying that there is a emergency situation in the building do not use the elevators evacuate immediately how about that huh we'll just kind of roam around here i don't know if this is working or not but uh we will give it a try and see take the haunted elevator down to the uh, to the street level Well, I don't think it is working. This is why it's haunted. It's a really gorgeous morning here in Las Vegas. About 60 degrees right now. Here on the... Uh, city center part of the uh, Las Vegas Strip. It's supposed to get up to about 81 today. They're said to project it high. Cosmo guy out here painted the uh, painting the concrete. We just kind of rope her out here this morning to see what's going on. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. You know, I saw something interesting uh, the other day. I'm going to share with y'all. Hey, this actually kind of uh, blew my mind a little bit. So I go to the grocery store and uh, I buy the normal stuff. You know, it's not a lot of stuff, it's just me, but uh, there's certain things that I like to have. So I bought my uh, loaf of bread, you know, the cheap bread. You know, it's like, this is the bread that, uh, you know, realistically, there used to be like 99 cents a loaf. You know, it's like I don't need anything fancy. You know, just just some cheap bread that now costs $2.79 at post-pandemic. And I needed a uh, bottle of uh, barbecue sauce. 
And once again, it's like nothing fancy. I just like the barbecue sauce. It's like, you know, for chicken and different things. So I always buy like the Kraft Hickory Smoke, which is uh, my favorite. One of my favorites. But, uh, you know, it used to be like a $1.29 a bottle pre-pandemic. And, you know, now it's like uh, two sixty nine, dollars And every now and then you might find it on sale. But... Realistically, right around that 269 range. And then, uh, you know, I need a, of course, I need my Dr. Pepper. So I'm like roaming around, and, you know, the Dr. Pepper, I always buy like a two liter bottle. And, Yeah, the two liter bottle that's like now right you about $2.99. And uh, you know, where it used to be say a dollar forty nine. Unless you buy four of them. You know, if you buy four of them instead of two ninety nine, you can get it for like a dollar forty nine. But you have to buy four bottles, so you know, save a save a couple of dollars. But then I saw something as I'm meandering through the store and you know Okay, about buying some potato chips. It used to be like, you know, three dollars a bag. It's now five dollars a bag. And, but then it's like I meandered over to the, you know, the meat department, and so I could uh, dream about what the uh, what used to be, you know, where I could have steak like you know two or three times a week. And you know, now it's like, you know, once every great while. But I get over to the meat department. And it's like, it, it, it was like a flashback. It was like a throwback. I had gone through and uh, literally they had New York steaks on sale for $5.77 a pound. $5.77. That, that is definitely uh, pre-pandemic prices. And I'm like... Yeah, I rub my eyes. I rub my belly. You know, I'm looking at them. They're staring back at me. Hey, yes, I did partake of of, uh, of some New York strip steaks. Now, you know, everybody that's like a regular listener to my channel knows that it's like you know I'm a ribeye steak guy. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, ribeye steaks were like you know still nineteen dollars a pound, but uh, so that wasn't going to happen. But uh, I, it was amazing that the, the five seventy seven a pound, and I was looking at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's the uh, what's going on here? You know, nothing else is cheaper, but it's like I think it's like. Uh, they do it to give you that sliver of hope, that glimmer of hope, I guess. I think sliver of hope is like is more like it actually, but uh, I get that glimmer of hope that you know, at five seventy seven a pound. So I bought like the few, and you know, had like one, and put a couple in the freezer. But I'm just as I was uh, astounded. I was amazed. So is that going on like all over the country, or I guess all over the world? It's like uh, you know, do they they slide you? Uh, you know, no pun intended. They slide you a bone every now and then that. Uh, Things are gonna be that inexpensive. I was like, I mean, I was, I was very happy. Of course, I wasn't happy that I paid it's like the higher prices for everything else. But uh, yeah, I was like, and it, that I will tell you, it was, uh, it was pretty good. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't chewing like shoe leather or 
anything like that. It was a it was a real honest to goodness New York steak. So, anyway, does anybody have any uh, any uh, tales of uh, excitement along those lines? To where you know you found that uh, that one deal that made you think back to yesteryear. Take a look around here. See the little terrace dining here and outside the Paris has a full group of people having some breakfast this morning. Some happy, happy, happy campers. If you watched yesterday's video, I told you that the, that hotel tower right there is going to become part of the uh, Paris Hotel. They have Paris's annexed it. So the horseshoe uh, will have uh, less rooms and the Paris will have more rooms. I guess they could charge more at the Paris, maybe at the horseshoe. All right, everybody, I'm Lowell Frick. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, please leave me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. It helps our channel out quite a bit. It keeps our videos visible in the uh, YouTube universe. Hey, everybody, take care. Okay, stay healthy. Uh, remember, it's like uh, uh, check for the steaks on sale at, uh, at the grocery store. I will see you all in the next video. Hey, okay, bye-bye, everybody.